And of course, the hope is that Dreamforce will continue to be held in San Francisco in future years. And joining me now is one of our favorite guests of all time, Bala Offshore. Back. Thank you, Larry. Your last visit was 2019, and I was struck by your title, Digital Evangelist at Salesforce. And after your visit, I went to the bosses and I said, could you change my title to Digital Evangelist? And I said, one, we have no idea what that is, and two, you're undoubtedly unqualified. So you are qualified. What does it mean? What does your title mean? Thank you uh, for having me back. It's, it's an honor to be here. I was a former customer of Salesforce for 12 years, and as the Salesforce helped grow my company, tripled in size, I found myself naturally wanting to advocate about the importance of technology, culture, leadership. And uh, eight years ago, I was fortunate enough to be invited to join Salesforce. And today, I mostly conduct research, connect our incredible trailblazer customer and partners to builders at Salesforce where we can shape our roadmap for the future. Very exciting. So I know we're going to talk about AI here and sure. we just heard Mark talking about that as well. But there were also uh, comments from Mr. Benioff about concerns over safety in San Francisco. You've got 40,000 people here for Dreamforce. How is everything going? I, we have not heard of any issues. I, I assume it's smooth sailing. Uh, it, the first Dreamforce was 20 years ago with a thousand guests at Western Hotel. Uh, today we're hosting 43,000 people. Wow. Millions are watching remotely. This is my 13th Dreamforce. I love San Francisco. It's a clean city, beautiful city. It reminds me of Boston, my home city. And so it's a privilege to be here and I look forward to many more Dreamforces in San Francisco. All right, well, we're going to clip that off and send it to <laughs> Mayor London Breed, and she'll be very happy to hear that. All right, so Dreamforce used to focus mostly on cloud computing, and it was the biggest cloud computing conference in the world. Now the shift to AI. And when people hear, you know, artificial intelligence, it provokes fear as well as excitement. What does it provoke for you? I, I believe in the long run that optimists create the future. And Salesforce is an incredibly optimistic company with an incredibly optimistic leader. Salesforce is an AI company. And San Francisco, frankly, is the number one AI city in the world. Uh, in fact, you know, the tech uh, contribution in terms of GDP in this city is 3x other sectors. Mm -hmm. We believe that, you know, we are in an AI revolution. Um, now, Salesforce started this journey 10 years ago. So this is not new to us. Our product offerings and services we uh, have incredible, this is the largest AI event in the world in this, this three days at Dreamforce. Mm -hmm. We have over 75 researchers, uh, AI company founders, experts, legislators who are helping these 43,000 uh, participants to learn about the power of AI. It is an AI revolution. AI revolution is a customer revolution. Customers have greater expectations of businesses. It's a trust revolution. This is why I trust is the number one core value for our company. It's a productivity revolution, ultimately a data revolution. I believe AI is electricity for business in the 21st century. So it's not something you can ignore. And in fact, a recent study from IDC, one of the biggest analyst, technology analyst firms in the world, believes that the Salesforce ecosystem in the next five years, Larry, will produce over 11 million new jobs and add an incremental $2 trillion to business revenues. Wow. This, so a very optimistic view of profound technology that will impact every business in every industry and every geography. But do you have to be a huge business to implement AI? Because I'm thinking, well, obviously, Salesforce, you have you know, a lot of resources. But if I'm a mom and pop shop and I hear, well, I need AI, you know, what do I do? What do I do? This is a technology that will be beneficial for all company sizes. Many of our customers are small to medium businesses. Yes, we have the largest uh, Fortune uh, 1000 companies, majority of them as clients of Salesforce. But it, when, it's, when it's software that helps you do your job faster, smarter, be more productive, and more importantly, delight your stakeholders, not just your customers and partners, but your, but your employees. We recently announced a half a billion dollar fund to help accelerate the startup ecosystem working on AI solutions. So small businesses working to enhance our capabilities. Our Salesforce Ventures, our corporate venture uh, arm of Salesforce, which was launched in 2009, so far has invested over $5 billion in small companies and startups. Excellent. And so we're looking to fuel small businesses, entrepreneurs, 
to really help not just Salesforce, but the entire ecosystem take advantage of this profound technology. Okay, you mentioned uh, you're positive by nature, and you were one of the shining lights on Twitter, or X, or whatever you want to call it these days, because you. you only have positive messages, which is extremely unusual <laughs> for that platform, but one example, do not judge me by my successes, judge me by how many times I fell down and then got back up. That's a quote from Nelson Mandela. What do you like so much about that? You know, uh, doers make mistakes. When you're moving fast, you're bound to find yourself falling down. It's important to get back up. So some of the energy you feel at Dreamforce, people are here to learn, to connect, to inspire, to ignite positive action. Uh, Dreamforce was an inflection point in my life. So it's just paying forward and knowing that, you know, the smartest person in the room is, is the room. And so for these three days, I, I, my mind is expanded by these extraordinary people that I meet. And it's really the ethos and the culture of our company. It's a very um, you know, uh, generous, kind, welcoming company because we know that our success is really based on our customer success and our partner success. And ultimately, you know, positivity le le leads to good things. Yeah. When people are happy, they do better work. <laughs> For sure. Uh, you reminded me uh, of a line there because uh, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. But that's just a whole other uh, I usually uh, do not find myself in a room where <laughs> that's the case. Uh, so. <laughs> you're being too modest. By the way, for the first time in the history of television, we have an author who's come on the show and does not want to plug his own book. But the book is boundless, and you look on Amazon or wherever. And the next time you come in, we're going to talk about your your book, I okay, it. not just Dreamforce and Salesforce. It. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm so happy to see you again. My pleasure. All Thank right, you. enjoy your Thank time you. in San Francisco. Thank you. Vala Offshore.